all you cool quilters. I'm Emily. I'm Lindsay. And I'm Nettie. Is and it recording? Yeah, it's like. It's live. Oh. <laughs> so we're doing our quilt tube. Oh, look, somebody's already joined. Hi. I'm going to have to get close on you. I'm going to grab my phone. <laughs> um, this is our first time. Oh, Alexa is talking to us right now. I unplugged it. Okay. Hi, everybody. Hi. Good morning. Morning. Um, I'm nervous. I've never done a live before like this. Okay. Emily's going to log on if you have questions. Hi. <clears throat> I can't see. How do I like? There we go. Just okay. silence it. All right, Emily, you bear with us. <laughs> um, welcome to our. We're calling this quilt tube. Um, we're kind of doing. We're gonna try and do a live every other week with our projects, and um, if you guys have any questions, just let us know. Emily will keep track of that. <laughs> okay. So first of all, I wanted to talk about. Oh my gosh, I'm like sweating. I'm so nervous. It's okay. Fine. I'm freaking out. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> okay, so first of all, I wanted to talk about um, the cottage box. We just did our Valentine's release, and it's time to unveil. So um, we still have some, very limited. So if you want to get one, you better jump on. Jump on it. So, um, so the box has a little note explaining <coughs> what's in it. Um, the first thing is this tote. It says, life seems better when I'm quilting. And seems is spelled like a quilt, like a seam that you sew. <laughs> um, it's canvas, it's nice, it has boxed out corners. So this would be a great little tote bag to take with you um, doing when you're doing like a quilting and... retreat or something um i don't think you can ever have enough bags in your life no. <laughs> i agree with that <laughs> and then a little goodie is we included some washi tape by Lori holt um depending on hi somebody said hello hello <laughs> stephanie hi <laughs> um <laughs> They're all also. We're recording our. Oh, other. our YouTube too. So we're, we're doing. Two we're and doing one. two videos. It's recording us on my video camera and then my phone. So this might be different. It, there was like four different kinds. Um, you got some Valentine stickers. Just a little extra goodie you put in there. Um, these are called True Grips. And we use these here in the studio. You put them on the back of your ruler so it doesn't slide. They're really nice. Um, yeah. I love, love these. So. Makes a big difference. Yes. And I don't, like, I feel like you need these for all your rulers. So. Um, the other thing is a Fat Eighth Bundle. And this, so, they're all pinks and reds. Um. I'm probably going to murder her name, but it's by Ed, I don't know, Edita Sitar. Um, I just love her fabrics anyway. They are very, <clears throat> the colors are very muted, but they're very so pretty. pretty. I've saved some yardage so I can make me a project. Yes. Because they are so pretty. So a fat eighth bundle of that. A little Valentine's lollipop and then at the bottom you have your um, pattern for the kit that's in the box which is called falling in love and there's actually two projects included in this pattern um, the kit this is your kit it includes everything backing is included and um, the kit is for the project on the front, but if you turn it around, and I'll show you the actual projects here in just a second, um, there's a table runner project too. They are, Hi, Erin. They were fun Thank to you. me. <laughs> okay, so the first the project, they're at the bottom, of course. 
We're at the bottom of our pile. I had to take all of my decor off because I had this sitting on one of my tables. Um, here it is. So cute. Um, we had it as like a table topper with a bunch of like Valentine's decor on yeah. top. Me and Lindsay spent a whole evening decorating. It was fun. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, so I called it falling in love because the hearts are kind of like falling down. Um, the fabric is, let me make sure I remember, From the Heart by Sandy Gervais for Riley Blake. Um, my favorite Valentine's line this year. It's all reds and it's so pretty. Um, so my mom also whipped up this. So this is the other, and it's not fully binded yet. <laughs> it's been so, sitting in the binding pile. <laughs> <laughs> so this is the uh, table runner. And look at this cute pattern we quilted on the back. Try and get in there. <clears throat> the quilting pattern, I had a lot of people ask me because I've done it on a few projects lately. It's called Dear Heart by... Um, no, I can't remember, but it's called Dear Heart, and you'll be able to find it. Or not Dear Heart, Ginger Heart. Ginger, Ginger Heart. Heart. And there's also um, Ginger Flower, Ginger Star, Ginger Snap. I have all those patterns on my long arm, and I use them all. They're really great patterns. Um, <clears throat> People are just saying, beautiful heart quilt, nice, how cute. Oh, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> Has anyone made one yet? I did... Uh, the next project I'm going to show, I've seen somebody make it, so I'll show it in just a second. But, so the box... And you get a sucker. Oh, yes. <laughs> yeah, Don't the lollipop. That. Gotta have the tasty. Um, Gotta have your sewing treat. There's still some in the Etsy shop if you would like to go... Maybe I can link it on this feed. I don't know how that works. I'll have to look. But on YouTube, when we post this video, it'll be linked. If not, just go to our Etsy and... I think we have about 15 boxes maybe about left. Yeah, not that. very many. And once they're all sold out, we actually... We'll have these. We'll have these totes listed in the shop. These make great little gifts for your quilty friends. And the pattern. And the pattern will be listed as well once the boxes are sold out. Um, Someone said I have mine cut out. Awesome. Oh. Good. You'll have to show us. Post it. Yes, post it. I we love will, seeing your guys' stuff. Yeah, anytime you want to share or tag us, we really try and share what you guys are working on. I think it's fun to see what everyone's working on. Even if it's not with our kit, yeah, it's like, fun to see the I fabrics. I like seeing different fabrics, different color palettes. It's really fun Yeah, to see what you guys put together. Um, okay, so <laughs> last week we came out with a new pattern. It's called Heartwarming. And um, this kind of has a similar look to my Trim the Tree and my Autumn Abundance where there it's a runner. So there's a star in the middle and then it has like two, like this one has the patchwork heart, my Trim the Tree had trees, and then my Autumn Abundance had pumpkins. So all three runner patterns are in the shop. But this one, we still have kits. And this is Bonnie and Camille, their Shine On line. And I also saw this morning, um, somebody had made this and did a darker background fabric. Really? Oh. So I'll have to see if I can find it again. I was just doing my morning scroll, so I, it's yeah. usually like a quick scroll and then I go back. But um, yeah, I love this. This is mini charm pack friendly. Um, Anything Bonnie and Camille is always a yeah. My Bonnie a and Camille stash is getting out of hand, but that's okay. I just I'm gonna need another bucket oh, soon. soon. <laughs> <laughs> I've kind of like got her addicted. Like she wants to start saving all of the Bonnie and Camille too. So I like Bonnie and Camille. I I think I like Coriander just a little bit more. Um, oh. Sorry. I like Minikin and Simpson a lot. I don't know why. They have we a have very... some pink star fabric that yes. I need to cut out and keep. 
My dogs are just sitting here. They're being needy. Needy. Yeah. If you hear them whine. <laughs> um, okay, so I guess yeah, now we did this one. Oh. This was a release this week. Um, we still have just a few kits left. This is my Simply Spring pattern. This was done a year ago. Uh, two, than, years yeah, ago, two years ago, we originally released this pattern and we decided to revisit it and kit it in Lori Holt. So let's get a close up of the the fabrics. So you guys know how much we love, love Lori, Lori Holt, Holt <laughs> and her fabrics. We They're have just a whole the wall behind the wall us. Is Lori Holt. <laughs> <laughs> um, I just love her stuff and all of her lines um work so well together yeah. so They're just bright and colorful and springy and and i don't know if you guys have noticed but i made this um i don't know i'm missing a word in my brain i made this uh i don't know she never does p or purple which oh, I... Yeah. You came to the conclusion. I came to the conclusion. Thank you, Mom. <laughs> I'm like brain dead today. Um, she doesn't do purple, mm. which... Or black. Or black, or, which I love black. But okay. um, purple, you guys know I don't ever do purple. So, except Halloween. Halloween, it's acceptable. Do you guys <laughs> love purple? <laughs> I'm probably offending everybody that loves purple. But I love pink, and she does lots of pinks. Yeah. Lots of greens and reds. Greens, and reds. Blues. Her blues Her blues are, like, amazing. her. That's, yeah. like, her. Yeah. I just love them all. They're just so bright. And yeah. yeah. Especially when you come out of the gloom and doom winter. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Oh, oh, sorry, sorry, sorry. I'm shaking on I told her not to shake the my, table. I know. My knee hit the table. Sorry, guys. It's okay. It's okay. Why All did right. you do that? <laughs> <laughs> okay, um, so tomorrow or late tonight, I will be sending out a newsletter. We have a new mini charm pack project. I don't have the name of it or the pattern written. That's going to ha happen today. Uh, or the binding is not on this. But this is using the new fig tree, figs and shirtings line. Um, we love fig tree as well. That's another one we tend to stop. collect. Gravitate to. So this is kind of, I, this fabric is very, um, traditional thirties prints and I felt like something traditional would be really great, um, using this fabric. So we did the shoe fly block and then the nine patch block and it uses mini charm packs and a little bit of yardage. We added a border and the binding is going to be the red print, but, um, super easy and if you're a fan of that um, 30s reproduction look, you guys are going to love it. I had it. no idea this was a 30s look. <sighs> yeah, they're shirtings and all the prints are really small. And so, yeah. <clears throat> all right. Who wants to go next? These two have well, been really well, busy sewing. We, we'll talk about our whips and then our finishes. How about that? Okay. Okay. Mom? So, um, let's see. First off, your whip. I, whips. whips. What you're working on. What I'm working on? Yes. Well, I only have one. <laughs> <laughs> so I, shoot, sorry. Sorry, guys. I, I need to connect this to something that's not in front of us, yeah. I guess. Not so, like so movable. Lindsay announced that we're going to do a gingham color quilt every month. month, like a gingham monthly quilt color. And so we picked a Lori Holt green and uh, I got these Can't all wait. cut out yesterday. Gonna... They're so easy to make. Yeah. They're, um, they're just five inch squares and three fabrics. And so I've got that all cut out, ready to whip up today um, so we can get it on the machine. And uh, for I don't know why it keeps doing you know good color for green for St. Sorry, Patrick's. I'm trying to show yeah. both cameras. <laughs> yeah, and it's spring. I mean, and we it's could springy. Leave on a... Yeah, and you know, I just, I I just love these uh, gingham patchwork so, quilts. Yeah. They're just so fun and pretty. Emily made one that's behind us that you can kind of see what it looks like. Yeah. But um, we're doing in a minute. A, we're doing a gingham of the month. Yeah, and so we've literally planned the year and we've decided what color we're doing each month. 
Yeah. So green is this next one, and those will be a kit. So once you guys see those, thanks, Erin. <laughs> I got my I know, nails done yesterday. <laughs> so did mom. I'm not yep. in the club. <laughs> Just <so. laughs> well, I she tried, but I tried to get her to do it. I can't I, cross stitch with my nails. I just look at it as that's my my splurge for myself. Besides oh my, my gosh, fabric Zoe. and stuff. So. Come here, Zoe. And shout out to our wonderful nail lady, Ashley. I, she is amazing and awesome. She, we just yeah. love Ashley. Oh, oh, sorry. Zoe got knocked in the head. Sorry, Zoe. So. Here's Zoe, Zoe. She's whining. She thinks. She... So that's my only whip that I've been um, working on. Working on. I mean, um, I've got others, but. I think Emily was saying when I saw the, the message. Um, we have a color planned out for every month. So February, it's like going to be like a month ahead so like February, we're doing green for St. Patrick's Day, but obviously you can use it like for spring. spring yeah. Um, so we have all the colors of the rainbow picked out for each month. Yeah. So we're really we're gonna try and stick with Lori Holt, but we might we might have to go. Well, outside you of picked that. a color that we did doing. pick a purple, but we did pick a purple. Um, but she doesn't carry purple. Yeah, it's so. So I will be. Um, Finding purple fabric, which is weird for me because I never find, I never do purple. Mm. All right. I didn't even know they made purple fabric. Oh, Just whatever. <laughs> <laughs> because she never orders it. We never I literally it. never order purple. I've never seen a bolt of purple in this Except place. Halloween. Yeah. yeah, that's it's true. It's acceptable when it comes to Halloween. Yeah. Okay. So I have a whip. I started this two days ago and it's going to be kitted. And it's using matchsticks. It's layer cake friendly, so um, that's what matchsticks looks like. You can find this pattern um, in our Etsy. It's a paper or digital. Um, I've made this quilt once before, and it's so easy and satisfying. It's good it's to huge. Get, it, too. it could be a, a good confident beginner. Yeah. Um, it's just straight stitch. It's one of it was first, my very first quilt I ever made. And it's the one sticks. I recommend a lot to, not somebody that has never quilted. Like, I think it's a huge, <laughs> stitchy cat one. One. It's okay. I still love you. <laughs> <laughs> we can all have our favorite color. Yes. It's and fine. it's so funny because I actually find that, like, people either love or hate purple. Like, I don't feel like there's, like, a medium person. Like, yeah, yeah. that's true. I, I really feel, and I don't know why, but I've just never loved purple. And my daughter, Hannah, it's her favorite color. And so I had to make a purple quilt for her. Yeah. And it was painful. No, I'm just kidding. It wasn't. <laughs> you know, and purple always <laughs> reminds me of growing up in the lavender, um, the, I do like the lavender. lilac trees in oh, the spring. Oh, yeah. You know, and... I don't see them very much down here in southern Utah as much as up in northern Utah when it, you know, in the spring and stuff. But, yeah, yeah. I, I love purple. It don't matter. Yeah. <laughs> I harass her. Yeah, That's she funny. is. <laughs> um, this fabric, we're doing the matchsticks. My Mind's Eye. Gingham Gardens. It just was released. So pretty. And it matches my other quilts I'll be showing because they're all going to go in my bedroom on my quilt ladder. So this is part of it cut out, and then I sewed on part of the... So I got these all sewed on to all these pieces. And today I'm going to try and iron this and add these ones. Um, I Did find, you say that it was layer cake? Yeah. Okay. It's a, so we all the layer cakes are behind us on the shelf. and We're going to have there. kits available. <laughs> <laughs> and we're going to be kidding it and keep an eye out. I can't wait. I... Like, my Instagram, I've been trying to, like, show stories of me making things. Yeah, so give her so. a follow. Yeah. Um, yeah. So I'm excited to finish it. So that's kind of what and we've got. And have the matchsticks. Yeah. That's what we've got in the works of sewing. And I don't know. have any whips to show. I, I'm sorry. Lin I just don't have it. Um, Lindsay. I don't have it much. <laughs> Her main, her main thing is sitting at the computer and designing all this stuff. Yeah. And occasionally she breaks away 
and, and kicks us off the sew machine. Yeah, and she'll bind it all. <laughs> She's I our binder. am their machine binder. My mom does all the hand binding. Yeah. I don't mind hand binding. It's it's not a huge deal, but I've kind of got in my machine binding skills down to a science at this yes. point. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> I did post a tutorial about well, so there's you binding did make something. I did. I've made everybody in my family yes. that cross stitches. One of these needle books, except myself. And you know, I was thinking, I, mean, I, I even would like, I like I it for, my, for binding. So if I'm taking a project to sit in the car and bind, or I'm going to go for a yes. weekend to Katie's house or something, I can put my binding, yeah, you like can my do thread, my needles, and everything, and it can just be folded up yeah. into the quilt that I'm going to take and bind. So, so we'll link on our YouTube, the tutorial for this. It's done really well. It's so step by much step. fun. Yeah. I've had some people message me saying they've already made one and that makes my heart so happy because I've never done like a tutorial to make something that's not like a quilt. And the needle um, book is darling. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> um, we've talked about putting kits together because we have the quilted fabric. So, we'll see. It might be a possibility. Um, Don't take her word. Don't hmm. take her word. <laughs> <laughs> uh, it's. I want to. I really do. We just do. did quilt a big piece of fabric. I think we should. Kit we're some. gonna list some quilts and fabric. I know we've been talking about it. We've been trying to get our stash it's just, up. It's just we literally have been quilting our quilts. So when there's extra At the backing. End. We try and get it quilted, and as soon as I can get pictures, She's like me. Yes. we're going to list it, what? and you guys can have your own quilted fabric to make your project bags, or project books. Yeah. You're um, welcome. Um, someone I'm, said, yes, thanks for tutorial video. Super cute. Yes, I would buy a kit. So, it looks like so. she should get on it. <sighs> yeah. She should get on it like blue bonnet. <laughs> yeah, we will. Uh, Which, yeah, it's... Yeah. Once you get down the technique of making things like this, you guys, you go crazy. it's addicting. Like yeah. I kept thinking, okay, I'm gonna, when I make mine, so I've made everybody's, got so my technique down pat. <laughs> I'm gonna probably add like a zipper and. <laughs> yeah. So hers will be the ultimate. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> okay, so. We'll go to our finishes. So, um, I... I literally just... have sweatpants on. <laughs> I wasn't really thinking about standing, so I'm sorry. I did. <laughs> so, we wanted to show you kind of what we've been... Uh, this one here is... I made this last year. It was in our Valentine box, the yeah. scraps. Well, it wasn't the scraps. We did like a... Little, a bundle. A bundle of uh, Fat Eights. Yeah. And... And so okay. I just did... I'll answer questions. I just did the throw, the dashing. And so this is pattern is actually in the Etsy shop. We have paper, digital. We, yep, we have paper, digital. Comes and so, in three sizes. Yep. And you so guys. this is the smaller one. And we just love this. We thought it looked like... Uh, sprinkles. Sprinkles. Cake sprinkles. Huh? And so I dubbed it when I made it. I was like, this is mine. Because, <laughs> you know, that's what we do in here is we fight over projects. <laughs> so, anyway. So, I thought it, was, it turned out really cute and fun. So, anyway. And then... And then Emily's I wanted next. to make a patchwork or gingham. So, this is... And this is um, Cory Yoder Apricot and Ash. I have in my Instagram the videos of me making it. And I just split it up into days. So one day I did these together, and then I did the block, and then I did the blocks together, and then I did the rows. Like, I find it easier if you just split it up. Yeah. Especially if you don't have a lot of time and you've got little, you know, little kids at home and don't yeah. have time. It's a, it's an easy project. Um, yeah. And I did the gray, yep. her gray on the back. And then the binding, I'm going to put the binding on today, and we're going to teach Emily how to hand bind and and that she so she I haven't can, learned yet she so. hasn't learned yet so we thought we would teach her something that she could try and so, do, it was so. really fun yep we do have a very small amount of kids yeah we do this. yeah we're gonna have so keep kids. an eye out I don't know are you listing those soon <laughs> 
Literally, um, we only have four kits, so yeah. It, it, Keep your eyes. It was just filled. left. <laughs> it was just leftover bolt fabric that we yeah. had from projects, and so we we're like, "What can we do with this <clears throat> other than just sell it as yardage?" And so Emily's like, "Ooh, I want to make a gingham out of yes. this." So the next two quilts are layer cake lattice. Um, this that was paper and digital. One well. of our original patterns that we started out with, how many, like three years ago? Yes. And this quilt, I forget how satisfying, sorry, I'm like, <laughs> kind of like in here. <laughs> <laughs> I forgot how satisfying this quilt is because it uses one layer cake and you get a really great size quilt. The size is 75 by 75. Yeah. Yeah. Anyway, go ahead. Em. So I made mine with Bloomington by Lola Boutique Lola. last year, Lola, and it's been a year in the making only because <laughs> I sewed every single piece wrong. And so me and my mom spent okay. a day unpicking and, pick. and then I was like, I hate this quilt, <laughs> but now I like it. I got it done. I whipped it out <laughs> and we're going to put it she, on the long arm today yeah. probably. And I did, um, yeah, I did the border and everything. She and did good. It turned out really farmhousey to me, and that's like my room theme. So I'm excited to get it yeah. done. She did good. And so, and then I made one because um, we're going to be reprinting the pattern, and we wanted to put a new picture on the front. And I told Lindsay that I am so in love with the Lori Holt um, flea market. Flea market. And so I did mine. Sorry, I'm struggling with the Lori Holt <laughs> flea market, and you gotta touch it your just turned out beautiful. Um, it's not. Oh, they're it's so, so big! Pretty. It's so big, you guys. Look and at how pretty. It I is. did go. A little bigger. Yeah, her border's on the, thicker. Yeah, the little bit bigger on the borders, just because I want to just put it on my bed and and that. But um, I just love this fabric, and so we will be kitting a few of these if you guys are interested. It's a lay, it's a one layer cake. It will come with like the layer cake, the border and binding. the border and the background, and then Lindsay she got a bunch of flannel in that. Oh yeah, it's nice and, and so soft. I I am a flannel back gal, and so I put flannel on the back because whenever I like to go in my room in the afternoon okay. and have my nap, <laughs> if they ever let me. Oh um, shoot! <laughs> I almost went over you. Guys. I like my flannels. Um, I love a flannel backed quilt. There's really nothing like it. It's so cozy. Yeah. So, so, but we are, she will be reprinting yeah. this and, um, that quilt will be on the front and I can't wait to see what it's going to yeah. look like. Um, but we do have, we actually have very limited, of uh, the paper in the shop, but we do have this in PDF. Um, but anyway, so yeah, Is there we've been busy. upcoming news? Still working on the block of the month. I've had a lot of people ask me about Free Pattern Friday. Um, we are doing a free pattern program this year, but it's going to be a block of the month. And I, sorry, Benny <laughs> is playing with his toy behind us. Um, if they're not barking, they're playing. <laughs> um, the free pattern, the it's a block of the month. It's a, it's such a pretty quilt. Um, we're using all Lori Holt fabric. And we're um, starting it in March. So I will be releasing the kits and the information next month. So you have time to get a kit and time to prepare. Um, You'll have the fabric requirements. So if you guys want to use your stash. But, yes. But we are going to have kits. So you can make it just like mine. Just if like you want. what we're going to do. Yeah. Um, it's a super pretty quilt. Really bright, pretty. Oh, someone typed a question. Let's see what they said. Do you use batting when you use a flannel backing? Yes. I always put batting in my quilts. Yeah. It makes a big difference with the quilting. It makes it look better. Even um, with Minky. I put it with Minky, everything. Yeah. 
and I, because it just <clears throat> makes it nice and heavier and yeah so yes and I always get a lot of questions about flannel when I talk about it um it quilts so beautiful it quilts better than cotton it like does. just the quilting cotton yeah and, and I have to say sorry I have to say <laughs> that it binds like I love binding I love I've binding, I like binding with the flannel because you don't tend to get the other side like mm -hmm. I can bind and and I don't tend to you know my thread don't go to the other side and I can literally like I binded this last night I mean it goes so fast when I bind yeah. with cotton when it's mm -hmm. just it takes uh, it just takes forever for me like at least two days <laughs> and that's forever for me <laughs> so um I did want to mention I also have gotten the question a lot am I going to show the block of the month like the full quilt and yes I think I had more people um, cause I asked for your opinions and I had more people that wanted to see what it looked like rather than have it a surprise. So we, we're going to have, um, we're going to show it when it's, when it's done, but I do have mystery quilts plans yes. for this year. So we did a meeting and, um, we have lots of stuff planned for this year for you guys and we're really excited about it. Yeah. And one so. of the things that, I don't know if you guys have noticed, we've upped our, um, uh, Lindsay's up the newsletter to where we've been trying to do a newsletter kind of in the beginning of the week, Tuesday, yeah, Wednesday, know, so. and then we do our newsletter on Friday. So you guys are getting, you know, mm -hmm. a more chance to get some of these cute little kits and, and also some of the quilts and, and that to where it gives the, you guys all a variety of things to you know, pick up in the shop. So someone asked about when I was trimming my gingham, what we use. So this is um, a six inch by 24 inch ruler. Yeah. And it's omni grid. And, and we use the we, grips. See, here's the, the grips. grips on the back that came in your I cottage box. I have to have the grips. Um, the handle, you guys, is a trimming lifesaver. quilts. And cutting, especially since we cut yardage because we're, we sell fabric, it has been life-changing. Um, you don't tend to push, like, because I push with my fingers a lot. And right back here are backs. Yes. Yeah. I get a lot of back pain. We started using the handle, what, a year or more ago? Oh. Yeah. And it has been life-changing. And one of the things is, is... Um, I feel like they're safer because yes, you your, hand, gonna chop my your hand is your hand oh. is up there to where there's so many people that you know that blade jumps that ruler and yeah. it can go over your fingers Ooh. and I've seen some really bad. Oh, gross! I have yeah, to. I can't handle blood. <laughs> I know she's like she would like pass out. No I joke. pass yeah. out from. I can never be like an emergency responder. Yeah. But this is <laughs> okay. A so it suction cups. suction cups. It's so just you want to like sanitize the area if it's a ruler and you've already used, yep. and then it will last longer. The stick. Yeah. Um, um, I personally prefer this brand, which I don't know what this brand is. There's we another brand, a brother brand in it that's purple, work. and it is not as. It won't stay on. It doesn't is stay it on as well. a different brand? I didn't know it was a different brand. I think it's a different brand. And because now I don't we know bought one. Yeah, I think these are also used in showers. Like you can, I've oh. seen like a shower gripper oh, for people that need help. <laughs> 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 okay, Avery. <laughs> anyway, um, someone said not to change a subject, but I see your mugs behind you. I collect quilt related mugs and was wondering if you have any for sell. Oh. Girl. Those are limited edition. We those do. are all the mugs we, Lindsay's designed and we've sold. The only one left is the sip and stitch. And the, we it have says, quite a few left. Yeah. Those. We have those listed in the shop that it's called. It says sip, stitch, repeat. And it's. Um, um, if Deb Miller. Do you, don't we sell to you? <laughs> I recognize the name. I do all the shipping. Yeah. Um, if you want to private message me, maybe I can figure something out for you. Oh, wow. <laughs> I recognize the name. Yeah. So, message her. Um, 
there is a possibility I could maybe find something. <laughs> <laughs> we have for our... the right price. <laughs> <laughs> uh, oh, I'm oh, sorry. I'm sorry, guys. I am so sorry. Okay. I have two dogs. Benny and Zoe. And when they hear a noise that's not normal or that is normal, they bark. Yeah. We, yeah. We've came to the conclusion we think Zoe is blind. We, need we to... don't think she has all of her sight. And so right. she tends, she'll bark at me if I'm not close enough. Like, I think she just sees outlines. Like when, almost. when she's hanging out in my room and they'll come up and she can hear somebody coming and, and, and she'll start barking and she'll bark until they say something like, yeah. okay, I know who this is. Yeah. So we think she's losing her sight. Um, I think okay. I it. think that's it. Um, just keep an eye out for, have, you enjoyed this yeah, live this video. <laughs> you let us know if you've liked it and we'll continue to do it. This has been kind of fun. Yeah. And we try we, to do it first thing in the morning just because I think we're all by fresh. By the end of the day, we're and, and useless. Yeah. <laughs> At the end of the day, we're all like brain dead and don't yeah, know what we're so doing. So tired. Yeah. <laughs> so. Um, live was fun. Thank you. And <laughs> just remember to check out our. If you could share it. Yeah. Too, like share, share it the and news. check out our share. YouTube channel. And. Like, share, and subscribe. We're going to try and post more tutorials on the YouTube. Yeah. I... This is our first quilt-only tube. So, oh, man. Why did... Why? <laughs> I didn't put it on Do Not. Oh, we got... Okay. Um, we, Katie sorry. was calling. She Katie wanted to be calling. on the live. That's um, it. <laughs> <laughs> um, what was I going to say? This is our first quilt. Oh, so next week we will be posting our floss tube. Our floss tube. Um, so if you're a cross stitcher, look out for that. If you're a quilter, this is where you need to be. So we it's will been fun. See you next time. Bye, guys. Bye. Have a great day.